Hi, if you're watching this video, then you are probably looking for some tips on how to get your best thinking done in a plan. So it could be a plan for um, a business meeting. It could be a plan for a presentation that you're going to give. It could be a plan for going on holiday. Um, and that's the example that I'm going to use in this particular situation, just because it's quite easy to use as an, as an illustration of um, planning techniques. So uh, I'm Martin Hamilton. Um, I've been helping uh, business leaders and teams for the last 20 years to improve their performance. And in this, I say in this particular video, we're going to focus very much on um, planning. If you stick around to the end of this video, then I've got a, a little gift for you that might help you with some of your other um, meeting requirements and needs. Um, but to the uh, top tip on how to how to plan. So essentially, there I'm going to give you a demonstration of. Uh, planning a holiday. Um, but the three key questions that you really need to be thinking about are, um, what is this idea all about? That's the first question. Uh, the second question is, um, can you tell me more about that thing, that idea? And the third question is, apart from that idea, what else do I need to think about? So in this short demonstration, you will see how those three questions are put into use. Now, if, as I'm doing the demonstration, you're thinking of other ideas or things that you would need, you'd want to capture, then, then the techniques are working because I'm just going to keep it really, really simple. And there, of course, there are lots more things um, that you might want to capture when you're planning for a holiday. OK, so in this example, we're going to look at how you might plan a holiday. But the principles that I'm going to show you here will apply equally to planning a day, planning a meeting, planning for a party, planning a wedding, uh, planning any event where there are lots of ideas you have to try to consider and you want to be as thorough as possible in your thinking. So uh, before we start uh, getting into how to actually jot down and capture uh, the information on the page, there are just a few questions that you're going to want to consider. Now, I use the smart wisdom techniques to manage this information, uh, but you could easily do this just on a piece of paper. The same three questions will still apply. So the first question is that when you come up with your first idea, what is it all about? Can you chunk it back to um, a main topic? So um, I might say, well, uh, you know, I, I need swimming goggles um, for going on holiday. OK, so what is swimming goggles? What is, what is that all about? Uh, well, actually, that's about swimming. OK, so what is what what is that all about? Well, that's all about a sporting activity. OK, so now I'm back to more of a sort of a root idea. And you'll see in a moment how and why that's important. So the first question when you come up with ideas is you need to chunk it back to what's it all about. Once you've done that, uh, you can then start to explore, well, tell me more about that thing. So tell me more about the, the sporting activities. Tell me more about the swimming. We'll see that again. Uh, so we'll see that in a minute. And then to expand your thinking, the third question you need to ask yourself is, apart from this particular thing, what else is there that I need to consider? So when I'm planning a holiday, let's just let's just plan a holiday now and see what that actually looks like. So the, it doesn't matter where you start. You can start with wh whichever idea comes first. Uh, so the first thing I might want to think about is, uh, OK, so there's uh, getting on a plane. So let's say I'm going to Spain for um, for a week. Uh, so the first thing that comes to mind is getting on a plane. All right. First question. What's that all about? Well, that's all about flights. Uh, OK, so what's that all about? Well, that's all about travel. OK, so now I've got a topic that's, that I think is likely to be quite broad that encompasses my idea, but will probably encompass others as well. So here we go. We'll start with travel. And you'll notice that I'm, another top tip is if you write in capital letters, it's a lot easier to, to read your writing, again, regardless of which structure you use to capture the information. OK, so travel. Um, I was talking about um, flights, wasn't I? So, so let me mark down my flights. OK, so... Tell me more about travel. Well, there's flights. OK, tell me more about this is question number two. Tell me more about the flights. OK, so in this case, I want to know, uh, are they booked? Um, do I what else? So, so tell me more about the flights. Have I got them booked? Well, th that might be the end of my thought process. So I just need to know, have I got them booked? So now I come to the third question. So apart from the booking of the flights, what else do I need to know about the flights? OK, well, I might want to know that they are in the diary. 
Okay, good. So are they are they in the diary? Okay, what else do I want to know about the flights? Uh, well, huh, maybe I want to know that I'm actually able to get on board. So, um, have I got my um, have I got my visa or travel documents? Um, so so visa passport. Uh, now, um, what is that all about? You can and again you can ask these questions all the way through. So passport is about documents, isn't it? So it's about documents for um, for travel documents uh so there's a passport okay and again so tell me more about the passport well i don't need to know any more about the passport i know what that is but apart from a passport what other documents might i need um good question so depending on where i'm traveling to maybe i need a visa um maybe i need um a, a book a reservation um booking documentation. So there's other documents that are, are maybe connected to it. And again, depending on your holiday and what you're planning, uh, you might have some other ideas that you need. Um, so you keep exploring and exhausting with tell me more about and apart from. So these two questions, two and three here, you keep exploring them until you've exhausted your thinking. It, the thing is, if you then later think of um, additional items, it's either easy to add them in or you, you can just... Uh, um, you can just start new new lists. Okay, so uh, apart from the flights, uh, are there any other, apart from the flights, are there any other travel considerations that I might have? Okay, so uh, I think yes is the answer to that. So uh, let's say there's going to be car. So tell me more about um, car uh, activities. Well, I'm going to want to know, have I hired a car for my trip? Um, and apart from hiring the car, do I need to think about anything else? Well, I might need to think about my um, driving license. <clears throat> so it's my license for driving. Now, what's really interesting is um, you can start to see that you may start, start to have themes emerging. So this, this is, again, is quite similar to documentation. So what I might do is I might put a, a little star there um, and a little star there. So I can actually see that as I'm building up my um, plan of what I need for, for going on holiday, <clears throat> I can start to see where there are overlaps between my ideas. So obviously a driving license might be a form of uh, travel documentation that I want to take. So this is something that came out of this thought process that didn't come out of here, but that's of course is quite normal. You, it's very unlikely you'll think of all the things that you need to think about um, at one go. Okay, so um, apart from uh, car hire, is there anything else that I might need? Well, uh, I'm, if I'm going to drive to the airport, then maybe I need some parking at the airport. Parking and airport. Now, if I reverse these concepts, you'll see I've done this a couple of times already. If I reverse them, so instead of saying airport parking, if I do parking and then airport, it then immediately leads to, well, actually, is there any other parking that I need to think about? Um, and maybe there's hotel parking for my car hire. Um, so am I able to actually park my hire car where I'm staying? <clears throat> so good little tip that if you have uh, compound ideas like airport parking, if you break them up, it can explode your thinking and it help you to expand your thinking much more widely. Good. OK, so uh, so maybe that's all I might need to think about as far as travel is concerned. But you get the idea of how I could expand apart from travel, apart from flights, apart from um, uh, car are there any other travel considerations I might have? And then if there are, yes, I, then I can keep going. So apart from travel, what else might I need to think about? Well, I might need to think about money. I might think about um, my spending money. So question one, what is spending money all about? Well, it's all about finance. So let me just start with uh, finance as my main category. Um, and then so and then I've got money and travel travel money um so travel so in terms of currency so i might need to exchange exchange some money okay so what else is there uh in terms of um finance what else might i um need to think about well there are um credit cards so i might want to use my credit cards broad now remember another compound idea a bit like airport parking if i reverse that Instead of doing credit cards, if I do cards and credit, then I can 
tell me tell me more about credit cards well i can i can decide well, which credit cards it is that i'm that i might want to take with me so if i've got my amex card or other cards i want to take with me i can i can list them out but apart from um credit cards are there any other kinds of cards apart from credit cards what other cards well maybe i've got some loyalty cards that i want to take with me so which loyalty cards well maybe i've got my airport uh loyalty cards or i've got my restaurant um loyalty card uh if i could spell it there you go restaurant uh and then apart from the airport and the restaurant are there any other types of loyalty cards that i might need to take with me so apart from um credit cards and loyalty cards are there any other cards well maybe there are i can't think of any right now um so in terms of finance, coming back down my, my structure, um, apart from uh, the travel money and the cards, is there anything else, <coughs> excuse me, from a finance perspective that I need to think about? Well, yeah, there is. What about insurance? And of course, the thought that might have come into my head might have been travel insurance. But again, if I reverse it and put insurance, I can now put travel. OK, so tell me more about the travel insurance. And then if you if I wanted to and needed to, then I could get into the details. Do I need sort of uh, cross cross border uh, sort of multi country travel um, insurance? Do I need um, dangerous sports um, uh, cover for my trip? OK, so but apart from travel insurance, is there any other kind of insurance that I might need to think about? Well, yeah, there is. What about um, health insurance? What happens if I get uh, if I get sick while I'm while I'm traveling? So then, so again, I could explore more about health insurance if I needed to. OK, uh, so then I, I again, I can keep going. So apart from travel and finance, what other kind of main considerations might I have? Well, if I'm going to Spain, then it could be quite hot. So maybe I need some uh, sunscreen. OK, so what what is sunscreen all about? Well, it's all about the uh, sunshine and preventing me from getting sunburn. OK, so what is that all about? Well, that's all about me being well um, and healthy while I'm abroad. So let's put um, uh, sick. Let's put well, again, you can ask and keep drilling back. So what is health all about? Well, that's all about safety, my safety. So let's put safety. And it doesn't matter if you start with health. It really doesn't matter at all. But if I go for safety and then health. Um, I can then put um, protection and sun. So I've got my sun protection. Um, so apart from uh, sun protection, is there anything else that I might need? Uh, so I could see if there's anything else I need protection for. Uh, but I could also then explore. Um, so apart from what other? So tell me more about the health. Well, uh, what about medication? Medication. OK, so what what kind of tell me more about medication? Well, do I need um, tablets? Maybe I'm on on some medication. I need to take tablets with me. Um, so if again, if I wanted to explore what kind of tablets, then I can I can give the detail of that to um, maybe I get um, uh, motion sickness. So if I get travel sick, then maybe I need to medication for for motion. Uh, okay, so apart from medication, are there any other health uh, considerations? Yeah, definitely. So we've talked about sun and the brightness of the sun. So maybe I need sunglasses. Here's another really good reversal opportunity. So rather than putting sunglasses, why don't I put glasses and sun? Because now I can say, well, apart from the, uh, the, the sunglasses, are there any other glasses that I might need? Well, yeah, I might need my reading glasses. I might hopefully get through one or two good books while I'm away. Okay, so um, I've now got uh, my sunglasses. So apart from uh, the sun protection, medication, and the various forms of eyewear that I might need, um, are there any health, other health um, considerations? Yeah, what about my fitness while I'm away? So I might might be interested in in that. Um, so now I can say, well, okay, well, tell me more about the fitness. Well. Now I can get into maybe swimming, the things that I might want to do when I'm on holiday. Swimming, what apart from swimming, what else might I want to do? Well, what about the gym? Um, and maybe I want to go do some walking as well. So these potentially are all topics which, again, could be could be quite broad or could be part of something else. Um, so again, I may need to take this idea and expand it further, but we'll, but we'll see more of that in a moment. 
So apart from uh, health, are there any other safety considerations? Well, yeah, what about the safety of my house while I'm away? Okay, so tell me more about the safety of the house. Well, okay, so there could be uh, keys. So where are the keys going to be? Um, keys with maybe with family or a neighbour. Okay, so what else apart from <coughs> this, the, the keys? Uh, is there anything else in terms of the house that I need to be uh, mindful of? Well, maybe there's the, um, the alarm. Maybe make sure that the alarm is working and that it's ready, ready to go. Okay, good. So I'm thinking about sort of safety, safety considerations. Okay, so apart from uh, my travel plans, the finance and safety, are there any other big topics? Well, we haven't even talked about the uh, the activities that I might want to do when I'm on holiday. Uh, so um, activity seems like a fairly generic topic to me. So let's go with with that as the title. So I've now got activities. Now, okay, so when I think about my holiday activities, um, what might I want to do? Well, how about um, uh, sightseeing? Okay, so what is sightseeing? So sightseeing is an example of a trip. So there might be, what kind of trips? Well, there might be day trips. Um, there might be sights that I want to see while I'm on holiday. Um, Okay, good. So apart from going on trips, are there any other activities I need to be planning and thinking about? Yeah, there are. What about eating in restaurants? Well, what's eating all about? Well, it's all about meals. So let's bring that back to meals. And and then I can now I can go in all sorts of different directions. So I can either go for um, for dinner, start there maybe. So do I need to uh, make reservations? Um Apart from dinner, what other meals are there? Well, there's there's lunch. Uh, so do I need, um, what do we need? Do we need restaurants? Do we need supermarkets? Maybe to buy sandwiches, supermarket. Um, and maybe I need some restaurant ideas as well. Okay, so again, I could keep exploring that further. Uh, and then in terms of other activities, so trips, meals, well, what about um, sports? So I might want to do some sport while I'm there. Again, it's interestingly, you may spot that there are some um, overlaps between different aspects of your plan here. So again, maybe if I put a little A here with sports, well, because it's interesting because I actually had some sport activities up here in terms of fitness. Um, so again, what you can start to see is uh, how you can then link the ideas that you've got. And that will also help you to make sure you thought through the ideas in as much detail as you need. OK, so um, I'm probably going to stop there because um, partly because I'm reaching the, the end of this particular page. Uh, but that's that's no reason necessarily to to stop your plan um, if there are other things that you need to explore. But hopefully that gives you um, some ideas on how to actually go about planning uh, a holiday or, or a meeting or a trip or, or any kind of activity. So just to recap, the key thing is that there are three key questions that you need to, um, to explore. Uh, so when you come up with your very, very first idea, you need to explore, well, what is that idea? What is it all about? Because your first idea might be um, your passport. OK, so what is passport all about? Well, it's all about um, documents for travel. What's that all about? Well, that's all about your flights and, and so on. So you've got your travel. So what is it all about? And then once you've addressed the first question in terms of what's it all about, you can then start to explore. Well, tell me more about each of those things. Tell me more about the flights. Tell me more about the diary. Tell me more about the documents that you need. Tell me more about the car, the hire. Tell me more about your driving license and so on. Um, and then the third question you need to ask yourself then is apart from the idea that you've got working then across the way, apart from that, um, what other kinds of examples um, do you need to be thinking about? So in terms of travel documents, apart from flights, what else? Well, there's the car. Apart from the car, what else might there be? There might be trains. Apart from that, what else is there? So that helps you to expand your thinking more laterally. Um, and then the second thing to, to look out for when you are um, uh, putting down your ideas on paper is to then think about where you might have links and overlaps. So have you got... Uh, connections between the documents and the activities that you need to do? Um, are there links between the activities, the sporting activities that you might want to undertake while you're on holiday? Because when you identify those links, that might give you further ideas that you need to explore. So 
Hopefully you find that helpful as a little planning technique. As I say, I use Smart Wisdom to help me do that, but you don't have to use Smart Wisdom. You can um, you can use these, uh, these questions um, just with a piece of paper or a spreadsheet or however else you like to do it. So I hope you find that little demonstration helpful. I say it's not an exhaustive list of everything you would need to think about when going on a holiday, but hopefully those three questions will um, will help you to explore your own thinking. I say that does apply whether it's um, not just to holidays, but it, it also applies to meetings that you're preparing for um, or, or other uh, big events where you want to get your best thinking down on paper as thoroughly as possible. So if you uh, like that video, then um, by all means, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let, let us know that you like it. If you've got any comments or suggestions, by, by all means, chuck them down into the, the comments field. Um, back at the beginning of the video, I did promise that if you stuck around to the end, there was a free gift. Well, uh, down below in the uh, description of this video, you will find that there, is, there are a few links, but there is a link to um, a guide on meetings and some top tips for meetings. So not just about planning, but some of the things that might help you when you're in a meeting. So it's free. So if, if you fancy that, then click on that and download that. Um, if uh, it, you, it turns out to be helpful to you, don't forget, you can also subscribe to this channel uh, where you'll be able to pick up further uh, hints, tips and suggestions and ways of improving the way that you do things. So hope you find that very helpful and um, don't forget, click on the link below and we'll see you on the other side. Bye for now.